Hey everybody, Dan here with Pain Free You. Cloudy, overcast in the 70s. Kind of nice. Crickets. Cicadas seem to be gone. <sighs> Hope everybody's well. Today's topic is this. So, you can't believe your brain can create these symptoms? So we'll talk about that. All right. A lot of people say, it can't be TMS. My brain can't create these symptoms. There's no way. How is it possible that my brain can create pain so bad it has to be physical? How can my brain create gut and digestive and immune and skin issues? How can that possibly be? You know? And I hear that all the time. And then when I say, yeah, I can, then people go, wow, I guess I should be terrified of my brain. So yes, the brain can create all sorts of symptoms, but no, you should not be terrified of your brain. As I say all the time, these symptoms are false alarms coming from a scared brain, perceiving some element of danger, consciously or subconsciously, and the symptoms are the alarm system for the brain to say, hey, pay attention. There's something going on. I don't think it's too cool. Or, ah, we're in trouble, right? Depending upon the severity and the type of symptom, the more severe, the more danger the brain is perceiving. But don't mistake extreme symptoms for body problems because in many cases, the, the brain is the only thing that can create symptoms or pain that strong because most injuries don't hurt as bad as some of the pain that we all experience and I know that firsthand from my 13 years of back pain sciatica there were some times where whew, it was wicked right and even Dr. Sarno said TMS as I call it perceived danger pain or symptoms can create pain more extreme than virtually everything in medicine the only two things that he said were kidney stones and childbirth that could exceed the, uh, the amount of pain that the brain can create when it's perceiving danger. And I will tell you, notice this. When your symptoms start going up, notice your response. If you freak out, do the symptoms keep going up and keep getting worse? Or do they come down? Or... Notice, if the symptoms are starting to go up, is the, are you remaining calm, reassuring yourself, and not buying into the fear that the symptoms are creating? And what happens then? More often than not, things can settle down. So notice the correlation between your fear, your thinking, and your symptom levels. But can the brain create these symptoms? The answer to that is hell yes, absolutely. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. So I'm gonna wrap it up here, but I just wanted to say that the only, the only thing that can create symptoms as wild and woolly as the symptoms we're experiencing is the brain. And if you've got multiple symptoms all over the place, it's extremely unlikely that you are as sick as those symptoms might indicate but when you figure out that it's the brain perceiving danger and the more we freak out, the more we panic, the more symptoms show up, that's just more evidence of a brain running the show. And so yes, the brain can create all that stuff. Please don't um, let symptoms convince you that your body's broken. The best way to do it, everybody keeps asking me, what about this, Dan, is this TMS, is this TMS? Do the assessments is this tms.com that's your answer commenting to me on facebook i'll try to help you out but the assessments are where i'm going to point you to anyway so start there and if it says tms then that's what it is so i really appreciate y'all hope this makes sense and uh as always i love you and we'll see you tomorrow take care